Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Leo love prediction reading for January 1st. Happy New Year to January 7th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loving, loyal, fun, kind, sweet Leos. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on, my Leos? Let's see, Leos. What you got going on? Show me spirit, guys. Six of Pentacles. The Magician. The Fool. Nine of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> well, first of all, you knew what you wanted. Whomever I'm reading for, Six of Pentacles is leading your reading. That's about love, generosity, kindness, you know, uh, a give and take relationship, a relationship where it's, it's, ju it's just love and it's a give and take. Both of you guys love each other. Um, you can come to each other and you can talk to each other. Um, just being um, in a very balanced relationship. In a very balanced relationship, you asked the universe for this. You asked for this and the universe delivered. The universe delivered you someone that you love, someone that you are in love with, someone that um, is, is everything. It's just everything. You are in love. There's You're in love with someone. So your 2024 is going to be interesting because what I see here is that you've changed. And when I say you've changed, the, the full card is a new beginning. Um, it's a new beginning. You decided to step out and, and to love this person. In other words, and I, I say this all the time. Loving someone or being in love with someone is a conscious commitment. Now, don't, don't, please understand, it's not sterile. It's not that it just, you know, dot, 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 dot. No. But what I'm saying is you have to open your heart, your mind, your soul. Um, you have to make a conscious commitment that this is what I want. Because um, that's the only way you can allow the love to come in. And you allow love to come in. And now you're in a happy place. You started over because you, I saw you changing the way that you were. And the, the second part of the last part of 2023, you start changing and evolving. You start risking things. You start um, giving an, uh, people an opportunity. Um, and you made a conscious commitment because you knew you wanted to be in love. And you wanted someone to love you back with this Six of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Cups is here. You're happy. You're satisfied. You're content. All, all of that. The Nine of Cups, they check all your boxes. You check all their boxes. But there's one thing that you know. In order to be in love and in order to be to love someone, you want to stay in love. In other words, it's easy to, to be in love. It's easy to fall in love with someone. The hard part is the work that comes with keeping it going. The hard part is the love. The hard part is the forgiveness. The hard part is, you know, just dealing with someone on a day-to-day, -day, someone where you have to compromise. That's why this Eight of Pentacles is here. You know it's going to be work. It's going to be work. But you know what? You're up for the challenge for 2024. You're up for the challenge because you finally opened up the last part of 2023 and the universe. Because here's this manifestation card, this prayer card, this meditation card. And the universe, you know, you changed. You evolved with this food card. You a new beginning. You decided to put it all on the line and to do it exactly um, with opening up and giving your heart and giving your space. You made a conscious commitment to be in love and to want to allow someone to, to give love to you. Now, now we're going into 2024. So what you understand now is that it's going to take um, that same commitment, if not more, to stay in love, to be in love with someone. Because no one, two people are the same. So it's always going to be compromising, changes and evolving. And you have to change and evolve with a person. 
Um, so give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading. Give me three to five minutes, Leo. Sit back and relax because I want to see what additional information the spirit guides want to tell me about this. Show me, spirit guides, what additional information. Sit back, relax, and let's see what the spirit guides want to want you to know about this um, this person and this change that you've made. So why is the Six of Pentacles here? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for my Leos? King of Wands. Oh, go ahead, Leo. Leo. Whoa. Whoa, Leo. King of Wands is a leader. King of Wands, um, it can be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But more importantly, what that King of Wands is, that's a husband. I, I, I the King of Wands for me is my husband card. You, um, you, you wanted a husband. You've manifested someone into your life. You wanted a husband that was kind and giving and nurturing and you guys could get along and you know you guys could give and take from each other and have a balanced relationship. You asked the universe for it and that's what you asked for, a husband. You wanted a husband. So let's see why this magician card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the magician card here for my Leos? Show me. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. You know, at one point, and, and, and this is so, who, whomever I'm reading for, you know how you felt. You felt like, doggone it. No matter who you got with, you just felt like <sighs> a loss. You just felt like, I'm never going to find someone to love. I'm never going to find someone to give my heart to. I'm never going to find this person. I'm never, you just felt like you were lost. You felt like you had lost, you know, you just felt like things just weren't going for you. But you, like I said... You manifest it. You meditate. This magician card is here. You manifest and meditate it. Prayer. Change things. Prayer change things. You no longer feel like you're a victim or that you're lost or that, you know, there's not good people out, not good men out here. And I hate to hear that when women say, there's good men out here just like there's good women out here. There's bad men out here and there's bad women out here. But it depends on your mindset. Your mindset is what changes and that's what you did here. And you manifest it. Look at that. Look at here. Here comes the food card. Let's see why the food card. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the food card here for my Leos? Show me. Why is the food card here for my Leos? Huh. Eight of Cups. This Eight of Cups is walking away from this mentality that you had. Eight of Cups is walking away from all the idiots that you were dealing with for a new beginning. For this, and I and I told you, this Eight of Cups is walking away from this mindset that you had before. This Eight of Cups is starting over again. Starting over again with a different mentality because you knew you wanted a husband. So you walked away from whoever you were with in the past for a new beginning. For a new beginning, because this is what you wanted. You wanted to manifest a husband, a kind, giving, generous man. So you walked away from whatever you were with, whom or whomever you were with, as well as your mindset. You walked away from the mindset that you had before for a new beginning, that fool card. So let's see why this nine of cups is here. Show me. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the nine of cups here for my Leos? Show me why the nine of cups is here for Leos. Oh, I have the high priestess. The high priestess. Now, the high priestess is all about also, um, the high priestess can sometimes be in, about being the other woman. And I'm going to be very honest. I'm going to be very honest with you. Um, I look at the high priestess, especially in a love reading. It can, it can be about intuition. It can be, it can, it can, but... I want to say that you even, I don't see that for this. I think that you even walked away from the mentality of being the other woman. I think you had been the other woman before. I do. I, I really do. And I think that you walked away from that, your mindset. You know, it's like being the bridesmaid and never the bride. I think you've changed. You've changed because you've been the other woman before. The high priest, you've been that secret love before. But it wasn't getting you what you wanted. You want, you want a husband. You want to, you manifest it. You want a husband. You walked away from being the other woman. I do believe that. And that's why this nine of cups is here. That's why this nine, you're satisfied. You're content. Your space in life is different than it was before. Um, the end of 2023, you start changing. You took risks. Like I said, look, the new beginning, you walked away from being this other, being the other woman before. So let's see why is this eight of pentacles here? Show me spirit guys. Three of Cups. Look at that. Celebration. You know why? 
because you walked away from being another woman, from being just the other. You knew what you wanted. You knew it wasn't right. You knew you wanted to move on. You knew you wanted a husband and you weren't trying to be still the other woman in these other relationships that you had. Let's start at the beginning. Three of Cups is a celebration. I see a celebration because... You know it's going to take work to stay in love, but you are you have fallen in love with someone with this Nine of Cups here. You fall in love with yourself as well, and I'll say that. I think you've fallen in love with yourself, but I think there's also, um, there's someone else that's around, though, because you manifested this. Let's start here. Six of Pentacles, you knew what you wanted, a kind, generous, loving relationship. You wanted a husband with this King of Wands, a leader, a man, an alpha, someone that had you, you felt safe and protected with. There's a manifestation card with that, that magician. You start praying, meditating, huh? At prayer works. Prayer works because you felt like you weren't good enough with this five of pentacles. You felt like no matter what you did, it never was the right person. Someone just didn't love you the right way. You almost had a little bit of a victim mentality, but you're not a victim and you figured that out. Because here, at the end of 2023, you start changing and evolving the fool. You want a new beginning. You walked away from whoever you were with in the past. And I strongly believe you were the other woman with some people. I'm just going to say what I say. It's, it is what it is. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying I think you've walked away from that mentality as well. And you've walked away from them because you want a husband. You've manifested, meditated, prayer. Here's a nine of cups. There's someone in your love space that you are in love with now. I, and I'll say that. There's someone in your love space. Not only, and like I said, you had to open up your heart. I talked to you about this when here on the, on the first row. You opened up your heart so that you made a conscious commitment to allow someone to love you. There's a conscious commitment that you made because as high priestess, you don't want that anymore. You don't want to be in a secret love affair anymore. You're ready to be a wife. You don't want to be always, you know, always, I say this, the bridesmaid and not the bride. You're ready to be the bride. There's someone here with this nine of cups that's in your love space that has made you very, very happy. Very happy. They've checked your boxes. But not only that, and I'll say this again, you are in love with yourself. That is how you were able to make this conscious commitment with someone to love them and to be in love with them here's the deal the eight of pentacles is here you're very very aware that it is work it's easy to fall in love but it's work to stay and i think that you are willing to put in the work because that three of cups up there that's a celebration to me that means that there's either going getting ready to be from this nine of cups can be the ten of cups which means family uh, uh the you know happily ever after and you want your happily ever after and i think that it's coming I do believe it's coming. I think there's some type of celebration that's coming. Maybe Valentine's Day proposal. I don't know, but I just think it's coming. So let's see. Show me. Um, what does my oracles have to say? What? Oh, <laughs> right out the box. Meditation brings answers. Prayer works. Prayer works. It brings answers. So let's see what else does they have to say. What else? Oh, they say trust as well. That's what I think it is. I think that um, 